Good morning. Today's video, we're, well, if you saw the thumbnail, we're reviewing and unboxing a tiller. I just need to get some of this caffeine in me because it's early. And I have also video coming out on these products as well. I've been in the middle doing a bathroom makeover. I've been really busy lately. But this job here, extractor fan, because the bathroom that I'm working on, they're having issues with um, mold growing in the bathroom because it's just too humid and they don't want a dehumidifier in the bathroom. So it's a pretty big job. Um, I'm do running all the new electric in that job as well the towel warmer here is for that job as well so that'll be a interesting video to watch but i'll leave a link in the description at the bottom when i'm done that one but let's get to this tiller go around to the other shop and get this out of the way and here's our tiller let's get it out of this area if you see the sawdust yeah we have carpenter ants i just been so busy i haven't gotten a chance to deal with them but oh they got it coming pretty soon i have the tiller on the bench this one is from a company called earthquake it's a two cycle and the box took some damage hopefully nothing's ruined inside let's open it up Some instructions. Okay, what we have in here? Got some hardware. Looks like oil. Yep. Oil. Nothing in there. smaller than I thought it would be that's for sure so this here will be your warranty card you fill this out mail it and you get your warranty okay so I got all the plastic off just to give you a little tour here what we have okay so the first thing we'll be doing is installing our right and left hand hand bars. On one end you'll have two holes and the opposite end you'll have one. So the end with the two holes is what connects first. So we'll be needing these three and it looks like their knob they want it on the inside. Don't know why that's what the instruction is saying. The instructions ain't too great so we're just gonna wing this. Let's get our arm. Um, I'll probably be putting it on the lower setting since this is will be more for the wife. Get your washer. Yeah, that's, it's on there. And these here are for the handlebars.
okay and it brings three cable ties and that's so you can secure your cable so it doesn't get snagged on anything so we'll just try to evenly separate those now I recommend don't put them way too tight just in case you want to change your adjustments Here's their two cycle engine oil that they provide you with stabilizer. Nice. So now what we need to do is put this whole bottle in one gallon of gas. And I know I'm running low, um, so I'm gonna have to go get some gas. So I lucked up. I don't have to go get gas. I already have some already. And this container, I already have it ready for two cycle engines. So I can go ahead and save this for another day. So unfortunately last year we were using all the outdoor equipment and I left the gas in them. So I know this year I'm going to have probably a lot of trouble getting them started. Because any outdoor equipment um, that has gas you need to empty that tank before you put it away for the winter time if not you're going to be in trouble most likely the following year when you try to start them we could go ahead and take that off so we're going to top it off and then we need to prime it and before we start in between the wheels this right here that is your drag stake as you can see, you can adjust it by removing your lock pin there. So once we get it running, then we'll play with that and see how that works as well. Just to give you a better view of the blades, you have your inner and these are your outer blades. And they're, they're not sharp, just so you know. Then you have your hairpin, one on each side. And that's to remove your blades if you need to perhaps bend them back in place. Um, if you're hitting a lot of rocks. On our property, we have a lot of roots from pine trees that used to be on this property. Here's your recoil handle. Your choke is right here. Your on and off switch. Make sure you take that off. Just so you know, this right here is your choke position. And this right here is your run position. Are you serious right now? It's raining. They were not calling for rain today. And just to show you something, the wife has a project and she had me pick up a whole yard of soil so yeah my truck's looking like a low rider and I was supposed to unload that today I don't know. guess I'm gonna do it in the rain looks like we're catching a break in the rain so let me get started Okay, they ask for five to six times to prime. And that's to get the gas in your line. So, obviously it needs more. There you go. You see the gas now in the line? So, I gave it a f quite a few more pumps than five to six. So we have our gas topped off. Let's place it on the run position prime five to six times until you see your line full so to start we're going to pull on the recoil slowly to disengage then they recommend to pull it two more times full strokes 
Then we place our choke lever to the run position after we do the two full strokes. Then we continue pulling our recoil rope until the engine turns on. Then we will bring our choke to the half position. Then we'll let this tiller warm up. Once it's warmed up, then we put it on the run position. Then once you have it where you want to tilt, press your throttle and go to work. And when you're done, all you have to do is put on the off position. First pull. Now put it on the half position. We have it now on the half position. Now let's just let the engine warm up. The engine is warm enough now. Now we'll put our chuck to the run position. So we're going to till this area here. So I'm not sure if you need safety glasses, but you only get two eyes. Okay, so what do I think? It has a lot of power. I didn't expect it to have so much power. Now, then I had to go get my um, ear protection because I didn't expect it to be so loud. Because it's when it's um, just on, it's not loud at all. Once you start using it, it gets loud. So you definitely want some ear protection. When I got to the higher grass, yeah, I think um, it probably really can't handle too much the higher grass because it seems like it was just wrapping up, but it did rain. So I think that's why everything's kind of sticking to it. It didn't stop the, the, the machine. The, it kept on going. It, it did not stop spinning at all. I just see that there's a lot of long grass just constantly spinning and not being released. Another thing is that I notice it vibrates a lot. So if you're planning on using this for a good hour or so, I will recommend to get the some shock gloves. Um, shock gloves. And I'll look for some and I'll leave the link in the description because I need to purchase for myself as well. So what I'm about to do right now is I want to release some of that grass that's um, trapped in there right now. And then we're going to try to use the stake that they have. Just to give you an idea what I'm talking about, I already cleared up this side, but yeah, using some pliers to get that all out of there. So I don't, I don't recommend to use it on the 
tall grass. See all the roots. Okay, it's all freed up now. Just so you know, that was very tedious work. And I recommend don't use it in long grass. Just weed whack that before you use your tiller. So we're going to go ahead and make a few adjustments. One's with our stake and the other one is the height of our tires. Okay, for our tires, what you do is this side here, get some of this grass out the way so you can see better. This side here is spring loaded, as you can see. And you might need two hands for this. Push the spring in, and you can adjust your wheel. So it does have a low, high, medium setting, so you should feel it when it locks in place. We're trying to find the medium setting, right there. So it locked in the medium setting. Now our tiller, is facing more upward than the high setting. Let me make sure I'm still in the camera view here. Push in, and that's your high setting. Okay, bring it back to the low setting again. And you feel when it locks in place. Now, for our lock pin, pull up here pull your pin out it's that simple and then you can make your adjustment so that's the high setting there just gotta find the hole again and then lock your pin As you can see our drag stake now is a good about three inches further than the tires so for the next run what I'll do is I will put the tires on medium height and our drag stick also in the medium height okay the tire first okay Pull your pin there Our drag stick is on the medium setting and our tires now are also on the medium setting. Now I don't know what's going to be the difference. I am not a professional in this field. This is the first time I ever use a tiller in my life. So if you're a pro or if you've done this before, you see I'm doing something wrong or that I could do something better, leave it in the comment. Let me know. Okay. The wife has me on a whole other mission. Now that that's taken care of, we can go back to the video. So what's the saying, uh, happy wife, happy life?
this is the area that I did at first. Once we removed all the grass, yeah, I will say it works. Okay, got the weed whacker running. I'm gonna go ahead and let that warm up. I'm gonna weed whack this whole area here to get it ready for the tiller. Okay, so what do I think about the tiller? I like it. It's it does this job. It's very strong. Um, the only thing is, don't use it in tall grass because it's just going to get wrapped up and tangled. And to release that, it's, it was tedious work. Another thing is, maybe purchase some shock gloves. Definitely wear ear protection and eye protection. Um, I think the shock gloves will absorb a lot of that vibration because it's, it's vibrates a lot but it's it's doing the job it really um, pulled out all the roots from that area as you saw at the end um, after we finished raking all the loose grass after we finished raking all the loose grass and the loose roots yeah so I like it uh, I think it was around the $200 mark I did purchase it during the winter time so sometimes you have to purchase these outdoor tools when they're not in season so you could get a better deal I'm pretty sure the price has gone up but I'll leave the link in the description at the bottom and once we have the garden ready I can put our mold repellers back the mold repellers I had in that area I pulled them out so we don't hit them with the tiller if you don't know what the mold repellers are, I'll leave a link in the description at the bottom. I have a full video just on that product. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. And I hope this video helps someone out there. You have yourself a good one. See you on the next one.